Are you ready? Uh, no, I'm ready. Clapback is about to be real. <laughs> okay. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, this Man. is Rhyme and Reason Radio. On 101.1 The Beat. I'm your host, Ramses Ja. Rock knowledge in the building. And I just found out that Rock is not the biggest Outkast fan. Nope. Why not? Not for me. You got to understand, though, like when, when Outkast. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I, I can break it down for you. Okay. When Outkast was coming up, uh huh. it was mid to late 90s. All right. I am a New York. New York, New York, New York hip hop fan. Okay. Um, I was a Nas, Big, Boot Camp, Wu Tang, DITC, such, such, et cetera, et cetera. Nothing wrong with that. Which is why I never got an Outcast like that. So, Ever. But you've heard, listened to Outcast. Yeah. You yeah, know I, what they're I, capable I just, of. I don't choose to listen to them because I, I don't. I don't feel any kind of way. So when it's I hear like a music. cultural thing. It's not because they lack the talent or organized noise doesn't come with it. I don't or... think I, I don't think three stacks is as dope as everybody says he is either, though. Wow. And that's not saying he's not dope. I just don't think three stacks is elite. OK, so how about this? How about this? Um, I've said this for some years now, so this isn't yeah. to the radio. Maybe elite's the wrong word because he may be elite. He's incredible. I don't want to get killed for that. He's, he's incredible. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to get killed for that. All right. So, you know, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to say, you know, that one MC is the best MC of all time just because there's so What's many Nas? different factors to contribute. But, you know, Nas generally, yeah. for both of us, <laughs> yeah. is the answer we'll go with. But it's because he's a personal favorite. Yeah. More than any other factor, he just is Absolutely. that guy. But um, my favorite group of all time, and I believe the best group of all time, is Outkast. Over Wu Tang, over Run DMC. I'll over... call them the best duo. I'm not calling them the best group. Mm -hmm. They might be the best duo. Okay, well, I mean, that's something. That's something, and they're the best something in Rock's book. So yeah, 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 that's progress, that. ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you've ever had a debate what, though, with Rock. Is, yo, is, <laughs> is Big Boy and Three Stacks a better duo than Raekwon and Ghostface? I. Uh, Yes, mm. yes, yes. That made me think, though. It made me pause. But yes, yes. I don't know they, about that one. You know what it is, though. It's it's um. I mean, if you're going to try to make them into apples and compare apples to apples, it, when when it's me and I'm picking yeah. what I'm listening yeah. to, it's Outkast. It's, it's just one of them. It's just one of them. It's, it all boils down to preference. Yeah, but I love Ghost and I, you know, oh, yeah. and everything. obviously they're all legends. But all of man, them. for for me to hear. You know, before we opened the break, Rock was talking about how he never got an outcast, and I just couldn't believe it. And this is the first I'm hearing of it. But hey, well, hopefully we've made some progress. You watch Paid in Full yet? Oh, see, why you gotta bring up old stuff? Okay, <laughs> we better get back up into the mix. This is Rhyme and Reason Radio on 101.1 The Beat. <laughs>